everyone and welcome! Today's video we are going to show you the easiest possible way for all skill levels to mod your NES Classic Edition. This system already comes with a great lineup of games, but why not add even more games? So in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can add over 700 games to your NES Classic Edition. Alright, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is go to the HackG2 website. I'll put a link in the description down below so it makes it easier to find. Go down to the asset section on that first page and you'll see the first link is an exe file. Click on that and it'll go into your downloads. Once it starts downloading, you'll see in the bottom corner here that it is downloading. You'll have a little circle. Once it's fully loaded, click on that and it'll open up a new window for the installation. With this part, you can just keep all the settings the same, makes it a lot easier. So just hit next, and then next again, and it will start to install the HackG2 program. Once that's finished downloading, click on your Windows button, and then go up to your HackG2 program. Alright, so here is the HackG2 program. You'll see we've got all the original NES games on there, but we need to add new games on there. So click on the kernel drop down menu, install slash repair. This is going to connect your NES Classic Edition to the computer. So now let's go over to the system so I can show you how to connect. So on your NES Classic Edition, you're gonna wanna push the power button in, hold down the reset button, plug in your USB cable that's already plugged into your PC, and then continue to hold the reset button until you hear this noise. Now your system is connected. Now back on your PC, you're going to want to let this load. It may take a few seconds. I've got it sped up so that it doesn't bore you guys. Once that's done, go up to this drop down menu, select your NES, because that's the system that we're doing. And then you're going to go down to the add more games button. This is the best part, because now you get to add more games. So click on that add more games button, go to the folder that has all your ROMs in it. Make sure that your ROMs are .NES. That's the file extension that works properly on this system. So let's find a game that we can put on here just to show you an example of putting on the games before we start putting on all of the games. So let's go to Battletoads and Double Dragon because why not, that game is amazing. Now press open and this is going to put the game right onto your HackG2 program. Once it's installed onto your program you can see that it automatically puts on the box art and all the information for the game. That's a really cool feature for this program. It doesn't always do it, so sometimes you have to hit browse and search your computer or Google, but I'll show you how to do that later in the video. So go down to synchronize selected games with NES, press that button, then click OK. The one thing it's going to do is it's going to put all of the games that you put on here into the unsorted folder. So hit the split by first letter. This is going to put everything into the folder starting by the first letter of every game. This makes it easier for the program and easier for you to find the games. So click OK and it'll start to install it onto your NES Classic Edition. Now that that's done, you can see over on the left side that it's got in new apps, your Battletoads, Double Dragon, and still the original games in a separate section. So now that we're back on the NES, you can see you've now got a Hachi loading screen, folders, if you click on this, you'll see that now we have Battletoads and Double Dragon. Now this isn't on the system originally, so you can see that we've made a change to the system itself. Now I'm just going to let this run so you can see that there is no difference between the ROMs that you put on and then the ROMs that are already on the system itself. Who doesn't love Battletoads though? This game is amazing. Now that we're back on the system, we're going to add all the games that I have in my folder anyways. It's about 700 games. So go to the Add More Games button, click on that first game, and then select All. So Control A, then click Open. Now hit Yes to All on these. This is just going to correct the files to properly work on the system. So that's something you just want to hit Yes to All. Now this is going to take a long time, so I'm going to time lapse it so I don't bore you guys. But I'm telling you, this will take roughly 10 minutes to put all of these games onto your system.
Once that's completed, you can see on your HackG2 program that now you have all of the games from that folder added into your new apps. There's going to be a few things that we're going to have to do first before we start putting it onto the NES Classic Edition itself. And that's going to be going down and seeing which doubles you have in the system that were original games that are in your folder from your new apps. So things like Balloon Fight, you're going to have two if you haven't gone through and deselected them. So deselect it on either your original games or you can go up to the new apps that you've added and make sure... I also want to show you that Battletoads and Double Dragon have not duplicated because it was actually just the same file entered again on your new apps. So you don't have to worry about that. It's mainly just going to be finding the doubles from your original games. Next step now is to add the box art that the system didn't automatically put on. We talked about that earlier. This is how you do that. So go through your games list and you'll see that some of them will have this blank NES cartridge. Now you have to add this manually by clicking on either the browse button and that will search your computer for files or you can just hit the Google button and it will automatically Google the cover art for the game you're looking for. Now it doesn't always work, so sometimes you have to dig a little harder or go onto Google and download it yourself. But if you double click the one that you want, you can see that it adds it on automatically. So it's a really handy feature, but you're gonna have to go through all of those games that you've put on because a lot of them are going to be missing the box art. Most of them have the box art, so you don't have to worry about it, but not always does that happen. So if you go through, find those cartridge pictures, you can add on your box art and complete your library. So I'm going to skip forward because I'm going to go through and make sure that I have all my box art on there. So when I show you on the system, it's got all the box art. Now let's put all those games onto your NES Classic Edition. So go down to the bottom corner again and click the synchronize button. And you're going to hit yes. And you're going to get a window that looks different than last time with a little light bulb that hasn't been filled in. This is a lot easier. So now all you have to do is go to your NES Classic Edition, plug in the USB cable, and hit the power button. It will automatically open and you can add your games. Once that light bulb lights up, you're good to go. It'll open up that familiar window again with all of your folders with your games in them, but you're gonna wanna click that split by first letter again, just to ensure that everything gets put into the correct folders. Now click okay, and it'll start to put all the games onto your system. Now one more thing I'd like to say is down at the bottom, you can see how much space you have left on your NES Classic Edition. The green line here shows the amount of space in a little bit of an easier way. You can see that we have half full. You want to make sure that you're around half full because all of the save states that are on your system that you create take up space as well. So make sure you have enough memory in your system so that you can save those save states. And just like that, all your games have been added to the NES Classic Edition console. This is such a great little system that you can add all of your games to so that you can have your NES library and enjoy all those games without having the bulky library of all the cartridges themselves. So I'd like to thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it as easy as possible to hack your NES Classic Edition and add all those games on. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos in the future. Thanks guys!